explained that a significant number of those applying for visas have been successful. She disclosed that the percentages vary across categories, but across all categories, most of those who have applied have received a visa. The majority of people who apply for visas, for British visas, get them. So in Kingston, the High Commission, in fact, we process applications from the, the region, the wider region, and last year we issued around 11,000 visas, the majority of those to Jamaicans. She explained that the application process is designed to be fair, flexible and responsive. However, she admits that the cost of the visa is a factor. But the system here and in other countries is designed to cover its costs. So the application process um, is made as efficient as possible. And the costs are regularly reviewed uh, and the UK wants to be open for business, so we don't want to set visas so high that people aren't, people aren't going to come. In the meantime, responding to the removal of the rights of families to appeal under the Family Visitors Visa, the Deputy High Commissioner pointed out that the removal has brought that visa in line with other visas. Previously, the options were to appeal or reapply once the application was denied. However, she is encouraging those who have been denied a Family Visitors Visa to reapply instead of going the route of appeal, which is a costly and lengthy process. Ms. Sutherland explained that it's best for persons to get the application right the first time. Alton Davis, TVJ News.